hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we will be discussing about the properties of polynomial operator so what is this polynomial operator first of all let's see this thing so uh, if you are given some polynomial p of lambda so it would be of this form a n or alpha n raised to power lambda n plus a n minus 1 lambda to the power n minus 1 plus so on up to this and the last term would be a0 where what are these a, a n a n minus 1 up to a0 they are all the coefficients it could be real it could be complex right so corresponding to this polynomial we could also construct a operator so what we have to do we have to just op, uh, replace this lambda which is a number by the operator so it is a n t to the power n now plus a n minus 1 t to the power n minus 1 right plus we can, we keep on doing like this and the last term would be a 0 and the identity operator right so now we'll be seeing that we already have studied about various properties of polynomials in our algebra classes right now we have to see are those algebraic relations that were true for normal polynomials are they also true for polynomial operators so let's have a look at few of the properties th that we'll be discussing in this video right so here we have this theorem that tells us that if t is given to be a uh, bounded self adjoint and linear operator right this is defined on a complex hilbert space to the same complex hilbert space right one thing another thing if we are given some polynomials say p p1 and p2 so what kind of polynomials are they they are the polynomials which would have real coefficients right so we are taking only those uh, polynomials so in that case we have following properties true for us so the first property tell you that p of t that would be a self adjoint now how this is there you see if you take p of t what is this this is just a linear combination of various powers of t right and you know that uh, the powers of t once the operator is uh, self adjoint the powers of t they are also self adjoint in nature and the linear combination is also self adjoint so you see you have the first property true we have uh, very quickly uh, saw this through the proof right so uh, basically p of t that is a self adjoint operator as well moreover uh, the second property that tell you that if you are given p lambda as the linear combination of p1 lambda and p2 lambda where alpha beta are some constants some real constants right then what would be p of t p of t would be of the same nature it would be alpha p1 t plus beta p2 t right so this property is the same and you could very easily apply the definition of uh, this p t to obtain the result similarly uh, in the third case we have some polynomial p lambda which is written as the product of two different polynomials say p1 lambda and p2 lambda then in that case the polynomial operator p of t would also be written as the product of two polynomials uh, two polynomial operators in fact that is p1 t and p2 t right so this is the third part for the fourth part they are saying if you have some positive polynomial right and this is positive for all the values of lambda which are lying in the closed interval small m to capital m then only you would have p of t uh, as a positive operator right so that means the polynomial has to be positive in all of this interval small m to capital m then your operator polynomial a p of t would be a positive operator right now let's move on to seeing this uh, fifth property right in the fifth property what they are saying they are saying if you are given two polynomials such that p1 lambda is less than equal to p2 lambda 
so two polynomials they are given to you one is smaller than the other one how do you say one polynomial is smaller than the other one whenever the coefficients of one polynomial is smaller than all the coefficients of first polynomial is smaller than the no, all the coefficients of the second polynomial uh, and you will be comparing the terms according to the same power right so they are saying if p1 lambda is less than or equal to p2 lambda and this thing is true for all the lambdas which are the mem which are member of this closed interval small m to capital m then in that case the operator equations the operator polynomials p1 t that is also less than or equal to p2 t right so this is this was the fifth property the sixth property is that uh, they are saying if the norm of no uh, this is not dependent on anything it is simply that if you take j as the closed interval small m to capital m then whatever is the maximum value of the modulus of p of lambda where lambda is taken from this interval only right whatever is the maximum value of uh, ma the absolute value of the polynomial in that case Uh, if that thing is greater than equal to the norm of uh, that thing would always be greater than the norm of the uh, polynomial operator so this is the sixth property right moving on to the next property seventh property they say that if a bounded linear operator that commutes with t then it should also commute with the polynomial operator p of t so you are given some bounded linear operator and it is commuting with t suppose s is that so you have ts is equal to st in that case you would also have p of t composed with s that is equal to s composed with p of t so this was the result for this uh, theorem so i hope you understood all the properties of the polynomial operator well that is it for this video thank you for watching